Africa, uh, we put first the community. And when it comes to economics, then you find that we are towards social model, socialist model. You get the same extreme expression of individualistic culture in market economy, especially the Anglo-Saxon model. If you go to the, uh, the Scandinavia, for example, Nordic model, you find that the, the economy tends towards public goods, shared spaces, and huge taxes for common goods. Why you go to the US, which is very much uh, support the view of market economy, which is really much in line with individual rights. Individual can make any money and keep it. Of course, the expression on the other side is the communism, which means that uh, private ownership uh, is not, you know, and we have seen what happened to the Socialist Union, I mean to the Soviet Union, and that uh, China has come up with a different brand of capitalism, uh, which is, um, they call it capitalism with a, a human face. It means to do this. So you look at the impact of the communal. Now I want, uh, before that, I also want to elaborate and reflect uh, the impact of, you know, uh, of the culture in conduct of business. You take Ethiopia. Ethiopia is very much hierarchical society. They respect order. They respect order. And, you know, and they like to follow rules. Now, that worked very well for Ethiopian airline because the airline has to leave on time. You have to obey all the safety rules. And if you travel on Ethiopian airline, you make sure that you follow what they say. And I noticed that uh, previously that even, you know, a small little woman sitting on the desk can disarm the giant by insisting, sir, this is how you do it. And you can go around and you have no way until you do it. So the Super Airline is successful uh, because of the, the special Ethiopian person like actually for the rules. And that works also for the hotel industry. However, I have a problem. Um, now, suppose that there is a problem that is not in the book. Then you will have problems when you are boarding uh, Ethiopian airline. Because it is not in the books, then you will not be safe easily. You will struggle. So I am saying that culture is a puppet. Look at Somalis. Somalis are brutally honest with money. If you go and they are saving you, they will count the money three times. To make sure that you don't cheat them and they don't cheat you. If you want to take something away from Somali, he will fight you to death. He will only take it on his body. But you want to send the money to the desert. And you know there was advert. They say even in the desert, we no address it. An Ethiopian agency will deliver your money, transfer it to the owner. And they are successful in forces. People trusted them with their money. When I was in diaspora, I tried the Sudanese bank, the South Sudanese bank. And money was sent, and relatives came, and they were told that the money has not been transferred. We look on the other side, we found that, you know, I had experience with Barclays Bank. And the Barclays Bank decided to withdraw the money back. And when I came, and blacklisted, you know, our banks. I came, they said, no, we are not sending it anymore. You find another way. 
but not us. Because money is about trust. You can leave your money with a bank manager. And some of them, I saw them in the equity. You are rushing. VIP, I'm rushing. I won't just want to be the best. Sir, okay, that's fine. I will do it. Notice it, nothing. But he's the brand manager. Come after three months, you know, he looks in his drawer. Sir, I deposit in your account. This is trust. Finance, but trust is connected with cash. Now, finally, um, in terms of collectivism, the interest of community and the interest of individual, you find that, that the Western society protects the individual. When I reflect on that, it protects the individual. Your son, your daughter, your relative, it doesn't matter. They have their rights. Apparently, the African culture and maybe Oriental culture, they protect the community. So here you are, a journalist, a journalist criticizing the government. The government is trying to do something good, say, government of Rwanda, building roads, building, doing great things, doing much for the community. And then you attack that government. What will happen? You, it will be your own problem. It's not a problem of community. This is about collective. Now, but in the Western culture, individual is protected. So if you type the individual, everybody will fight for their rights. And some of them, like Voltaire, once said that I can bleed death for you to say you're right. Even if, you know, uh, 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 for you to do, to, to, to do your right. So, culture, this has been embedded in the politics now. And for me, uh, it actually drive, um, it drives the, the, the kind of policies we have, the communal uh, policies, the Ubuntu. I think all these have their own. Uh, so the question for our lecturer, because I am not part of the is to reflect on this later on and for the panel. To look at the utility of the collectivist culture that we have in Africa and maybe in the Eastern societies and how it impacting the actual function of democracy and human rights. Uh, because if it apparently in our community Individual is not important, the society community is more important. And so, by not protecting individuals, maybe none of us in the community is protected. So we need to look at these Western models, and whether we really need to reject them, or get something like that. I think Scandinavia is somehow successful in getting some of these socialist, collectivist values. So, I really want to thank you all and, uh, and uh, welcome uh, our lecturer uh, to deliver uh, his lecture. So let us give more appropriate claps uh, for the visit.
time sit there. Well, we'll move the camera there toward you there. Yes, so now is the opportunity uh, for the presentation of this topic on African cultural renaissance as 21st century historical imperative, stakes, challenges, opportunities for knowledge, generation, and application. So we want to welcome uh, Prof. Uh, uh, Sambaburi to be able to give his presentation. So you can remain seated in your place and present. Yes. Yeah. 